Hey everyone, in this quick tip, I'm going to unpack what the colored lines you see in toolpath previews mean and how they can help you edit your toolpaths faster. I have a part here with some existing toolpaths and I'll start by checking out the face operation. When I select the operation in the browser, a preview shows up in the canvas. While this may look like just some nice lines, it can tell me a lot about the toolpath. First, there are arrows indicating where the tool will enter and exit the cut. The red down arrow shows where the tool will drop down, and the green arrow shows where the tool will retract to the clearance plane before moving on to the next operation. Next, the yellow lines indicate retract moves as the tool moves vertically between the retract plane and the cutting moves. The lead in and lead out moves used to transition into the cut are shown as green lines. Finally, there are the blue lines which indicate cutting moves where the tool is actively engaging material. I also get a little display of the work coordinate system orientation displayed at the origin. This preview looks decent, but let's say I want a larger vertical lead in radius. The part of the toolpath with the radius I want to change is green, so I can safely guess that the parameter I want to edit is in the linking tab of the operation. Under leads and transitions, I'll change the vertical lead in radius parameter to half an inch. I'll hit OK, the toolpath preview updates, and I can see that I updated the correct parameter. Facing is pretty basic, so let's look at the inner pocket roughing operation. This toolpath has a few new lines in the preview. There's some red lines, which correspond to the ramp entry move. There are also gold lines that look similar to the yellow retract lines. The difference is the gold lines are stay down moves. The tool isn't engaged in the material, but it is staying at the same Z level as the cut. For this operation, I want to add a taper to the red helical entry move, decrease the distance between the blue cutting lines, and make all the yellow retract lines into gold stay down moves. To edit cutting moves, I'll start in the Passes tab, since this is where most cutting parameters are controlled. Typically, a step over parameter would control the space between the blue cutting lines, but because this is a 2D adaptive clearing operation, the parameter is called Optimal Load. I'll decrease the optimal load from 150 thousandths to 100 thousandths to make the distance between each pass smaller. To edit the retract moves and ramp, I'll go to the linking tab. To convert the yellow retract moves into stay down moves, I'll increase the maximum stay down distance to 4 inches. Lastly, to add taper to the helix, I'll go down to ramp and enter a ramp taper angle of 5 degrees. I'll hit OK and see that the toolpath correctly updated with my changes. Now you can use the toolpath preview to check and edit your toolpaths faster.